So there are certain things, Sean, that you can and can't say. Number one, you have auditioned. That's pretty much everything that you could share with us, correct? Yes, I did audition in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. In Idaho? Idaho? Yeah. Why? <laughs> uh, so we had a choice on where we could go audition. So I chose to go to Idaho. Why not? Because, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What were the choices? Okay, um, <laughs> so one choice was Idaho, of course, and the other one, um, Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and and I was gonna go to Louisville, um, but because my sister and my mom were joining me, uh, the Idaho date was actually on a weekend. So we decided to go to Idaho. It would be better for everybody. So you keep saying like you had a decision, you had a choice, you had a choice. I thought people just stand in line, like, and they hopefully get lucky. Did you? <laughs> were you like invited to audition? Uh, yes. So what happened was they found me on my Instagram page and they asked me to do a private audition. Oh. So I did that. And then from there we had a choice on where we could go to audition for the judges. That's awesome. What was the number one? Uh, did you have time to look around Idaho at all? And what was the number mm-hmm. one tourist attraction there? Um, The scenery. Um, <laughs> there's not really much that I saw in Idaho. We did take a drive around. We went through the mountains. Uh, and that was absolutely stunning to see all the views. Uh, but other than that, we really didn't didn't see much in Idaho. So how did the American Idol producers find you? They saw you on Instagram. Do you have like a ton of followers? Or are you just very active? I don't have a ton. Um, at the time, I was kind of actually taking a break from my social media because I you know, had been doing it for quite a bit of time. Just needed a, a little second. But um, in that period of time where I was relaxing a little bit she one of the producers sent me an email um, that she had seen one of my videos and that she liked it and that she was interested in having me come audition for them so I was like hey why not let's let's go try something and that's how this all got started were you really like hey why not or were you more like OMG I just got contacted <laughs> by a producer of American Idol and who's the first person you called you know what I actually it was a little bit of both. At first, I was like, okay, yeah, somebody from American Idol. Yeah, right. So <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, that can't be true. But then I, I did my research. I called my mom, and I was like, hey, um, so this is a real thing. Like, this lady is legit. She's, she's, she's it. Did you have any hashtags or anything special on your videos that that's how they found you? Um, I don't know. I would, I would always just post, you know, hashtags related to the song i was singing okay uh so like, give me an example so if i was singing like okay so she found me a song i was singing um it's called this town by Nile haran mm-hmm. so if i was when i posted that I, I, of course i tagged Nile haran i talk one direction you know things that okay. um deal with you know the song and the person so maybe the producer is flipping through and they searched a hashtag for nile and your video popped up I believe she said she saw me on maybe her explore page where they just like yeah. put a bunch mm-hmm. of videos okay. that you've been liking. So she was like, you know, she clicked mine and she saw it. And she liked it. So you yeah. called you called your mom and we were talking on the way down here. Your mom, Renee, is the reason you sing to begin with. Yeah, my mom is actually the reason I started singing at 10 years old. Uh, she was having a, a period of time where a moment um, where she wasn't feeling the greatest. She was kind of down in, the, in her spirit, I guess. And so I saw that and decided to maybe cheer her up. I wrote her a song, and I brought it to her um, and presented it to her uh, the best I could at 10 years old, and it made her feel better. So she went from crying sad tears to happy tears. So that's how I got started singing. I've just like kept going with it, kept it going. What a beautiful story. And how did your mom react when you called her? I mean, here you are. You, she started you singing, and now you're on American Idol. Uh, she was very excited, uh, to say the least. Um, she was, you know, behind me, supporting me 100%. Um, Cry and, some more? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, we've actually cried quite a bit um, mm-hmm. over this experience. And I think if you guys watch, you'll see that and fall in love with us, hopefully. Beautiful. <laughs> When you auditioned in Idaho, were the stars of the show there, or the main judges, or what? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So they, I guess they decided to go to Idaho this year. So that's where the <laughs> that's where the big audition was. 
Uh, so you have Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and Lionel Richie um, in this on this golf course in this room with overlooking this beautiful lake uh, with these beautiful mountains and this great scenery. And you got to walk in and you got to perform. Did you get to hang out with them much at all? Or was it just like a in and out, in audition, out? We'll call yeah, it. It, it's, it's kind of like a quick thing. Yeah. Uh, unless they, you know, make it longer for you if if they decide to talk to you a little bit more uh so you go in you audition they you say your little piece and then they they judge they say yes or no who was your favorite i i love all of them i'll say that i really do i love all of them uh, but my favorite would have to be katie perry just because i've grown up listening to her music mm-hmm. since i was a kid since i started singing i was i was listening to katie perry i've always been a big fan of her so she's my favorite last question on a 10 scale where were your nerves uh, when you uh-huh. walked in and the judges were sitting there? Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but my na- my nerves were definitely at a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be a 10. You know, singing in front of Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and Lionel Richie, um, come on. Like, they're, they're icons in their own respective rights, in their own lanes. So it's just like, ooh, ooh. You know, it's yeah. very, very nerve-wracking. Uh, but... I think I think I did a good job. You felt you felt good about your performance. I did. I felt good, good about good. it. Good. Well, good luck, man. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for joining us. No problem.